the quality improvement training organized by the project implementation unit within the ministry of health wellness and elderly affairs culminated with a closing ceremony where participants were provided with certification in quality improvement this certification signifies that the participants have gained knowledge of the application and utilization of quality improvement methods and techniques to enhance healthcare service delivery. Principal Nursing Officer Julieta Cassius was recognized and praised for initiating the training and ensuring it came to fruition. In her absence, Acting Assistant Principal Nursing Officer Pusher Judah reiterated the importance of such a valuable training and called on the health team to be proud of their accomplishments and to continue working and make use of the new knowledge and skills acquired. The QI team within the facilities in all nine regions, which is every, and I say every staff at the facilities, will continue to work together to establish improvement plans to include team responsibilities and which would not just apply to hypertension and diabetes management, but can also apply the QI principles of improvement across all programs in primary care with the ultimate goal of improving processes and outcomes and ensuring sustainability. Director of Universal Health Coverage, Dr. Alicia Eugen Ford, who represented the Permanent Secretary, welcomed the training and highlighted the need to make quality improvement a top priority as it directly impacts the well-being and outcomes of patients. I note your role, your very important role here as participants of this training. I also note the importance of performance-based financing pilot project in all of this. That's important. And how it has a big role to play in the wider picture of universal health coverage that we're working towards as an island. I would like to thank all the participants who, ha who have done this quality improvement program, but I want you to know that we want, really want you to have quality improvement embedded at the forefront of your minds and your actions as you deliver care or you provide care to the different persons who access the primary care facilities. Healthcare quality improvement consultant Eileen Patterson expressed how honored she was to be part of the journey with the team and encouraged them to continue building the foundation of quality improvement for primary health care. This has been a comprehensive journey of quality improvement to support St. Lucia. And it has been that because of your commitment. So what, you, what we did is we brought the tools so that you as the champions of healthcare, as the champions of quality and patient-centered care could learn the, just the semi-structured tools, just a little bit more to bring to life what you were already attempting to do, which is engaging your own team engaging them and giving them the space to identify what could be improved in the system to help you achieve your goals, as well as engaging patients in a different way and engaging community partners in a different way. PBF program coordinator Neam Javatis called on the participants to be advocates, be resilient, and apply the knowledge gained from the quality improvement training. A total of 20 individuals comprising public health nursing supervisors, community health nurses, and staff members from the project implementation unit received certificates for completion of the quality improvement training. Reporting from the project implementation unit within the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs, I am Funnel Neptune.